Welcome to part 9 of Sonic Rush Adventure and we're trying to go to Pirate's Island but we have to find the three hints to open the door there. So the three hidden islands that you want to go to are pretty much the ones that have a black outline. So they're not really hard to find or anything. And I cut out the sailing parts because they're getting kind of boring to watch, really. So we, here we are at hidden island four, like Coral Cave. Um, you can't, you can't just directly go to the Pirate's Island because you know the solution. Um, you have to find the three hints first. Otherwise, the characters will just say, um, we still have to search for the three hints because we're so fucking stupid, even though this puzzle is easy as shit. And, yeah, it's really retarded. Uh, uh, this can be rather tedious, so the hidden islands are not that long. So, you don't know how tedious this was to report. Hey, this is it! And this will give us a hint on how to open this door. Well, I guess it will make sense once we get it back. Ah, jeez. Tails, I thought you were supposed to be smart. Well, anyway, next thing I want. Um, I guess you could also reach some of the those hidden islands with your, um, water bike, but I didn't really care to look. And uh, this is Hidden Island, I don't really care because... Yeah. There are 16 of these Hidden Islands, many of them look alike. So you probably won't really remember unless you're that big of a geek. Or it could be. And I pretty much S rank all those hidden islands. Because I'm awesome. That's really not that hard to do. And they always say the same for every hint. So now let's go to the last hidden island that we have to go to for now. Trying to find the hidden island here, down there. <coughs> so let's set sail again for the third time. I wish there would be a combo because then I would make an awesome combo here. And that pretty much was it. Yeah, the yada yada yada, blah blah blah, and because we're fucking stupid. Looks like we found all of the clues then. Hi, now I'm all knackered. We should be able to get the door to the pirate's hideout open now. That was some real hard gecko though, eh? Wonder why all the need for a walk up. Well, there are anything rooms after all, and this is an easy puzzle after all. What do you mean? After the floating continent fell to earth, the people had to look down here among us. 
but they longed one day to return to the sky, so they left keys to point the way, so that one day their descendants might regain what they had lost. Those keys were the stone markers then. So does that mean that the pirates found those keys and solved the riddle too? I don't think they're quite smart enough to have done that, not on their own. So then there's someone else behind the scenes? Well, we've gathered all the clues at last. Let's head out to the hideout. Ancient ruins, that's beaut, what will they be like? Ah, it's going too fast. This wouldn't happen if I could live record. Okay, Sonic, we're all set. And let's head back to the pirate's hideout. There's no room for failure here. Oh, she'll be Apple's place. All fuzzy face won't know what hit him. Not once Captain Marine here comes him good. Ah, uh, Maureen. Boy, what's that look for there, mate? Things are only going to get more dangerous from here on out. We've decided that it would be best if you stayed here. Heads and place are going to be coming with me from here on out. I mean, that'd be the best thing for everyone, right, Blaze? Maureen, do you remember the promise you made? You said that you'd agree to the group's decisions, right? Whoa, hey, where's all this coming from then? You're just yanking my chain, right? I'm still game, I'm still, I'm richy rich. Yeah, but Maureen... Said we were ready to go, mate, so let's go! There's no way I'm packing up and quitting this year's adventure. Maureen, listen, correctly, what's with the shouting all of a sudden? Since you don't seem to understand what we're getting at, I'll just say, you're a nuisance. Dun dun dun, uh, a nuisance? Oh, what? I am not a nuisance, I, I mean, I was your captain, right? I, I always look, I was always looking out for you a lot, right? Come on, tell her, Sonic, tell her. You, you all do think I'm a nuisance, don't you? You, you're all a bunch of drongos. Oh, hey! That was harsh, please. I mean, I know we can't take her with us, but... If I hadn't been harsh, she would've kept insisting that she came along. I guess you've got a point there. It'll be okay. Sometime, someday she'll understand that this was for her own good. Come on, let's get going to the pirate side out. Yeah, it's going way too fast. I I can't just give up air. I've gotta prove my worth as a captain, yeah? Gotta go and stop that old fussy face. So now I quickly save because this was really annoying. And then I had to pirate tie it out. <clears throat> well, I guess it's time to break into the hideout. We should have all the clues we need. Please don't worry, Maureen's going to be fine. Oh no, no, I wasn't. You probably stay at home partying for a bit. <laughs> yeah, probably, yeah. Hmm, I suppose you're right. God, I'm scrolling way too fast. Okay, now let's get this door open. Fuck. Oh. <laughs> the most difficult riddle ever. Seriously, no wonder the pirates got into those in those ruins. And that's already it. You you wouldn't even have to know the hints, just um, spin it until it glows. Alright, it opened. At last, the pirates hide out. Who knows what we'll run into from here on out, you be careful, you two. Don't worry, we will. Right then, let's go. Huh? What's this? These are the ancient ruins? Look at what those fiends have done to this place. Guess that the pirates decided to do a little remodeling. How dare they did face such a priceless relic. First, let's figure out where they're hiding. Alright, come on, Blaze. Let's, uh, let's settle this once and for all. Yeah, big Sonic for the stage because... Oh, no. I'm just doing it. But anyway, this is Pirate's Island. Actually, a pretty interesting stage, but for some reason I die a lot here. I don't know, I just... 
I didn't play this game in an eternity. Um, so my memories were very rustled, rusted. Oh, my Jimmy's aren't rustled. Yeah, for some reason that squashed me there. I cut out all those deaths. Because it would be boring for me and for you. Uh, why won't this go down? Seriously. Uh. So there are, there are some time gates um, that will close if one minute, two minutes, etc. have had. Um, yeah, beyond beyond those time gates are there's always a one up and a little shortcut I think. But anyway, I should explain the stage a little bit more. Once we'll get to those parts. Um, I actually like this music in this one very much. I don't know, for some reason I never never caught my attention earlier, but now recording it. Yeah, I like it. And I got it again. God, suck. I could have just done this stage, but I really couldn't care less. And for some reason, I never was able to make those time gates when playing it normally on my DS. Well, I guess the slowdown makes it easier. Here with the dolphin, just pass through those rings, counts like a trick, and then the golden ring will finish. Pretty cool. Although I guess I'm, although I guess Greenpeace is not the biggest fan of this game. <coughs> not trying to make it up here doesn't work. Won't matter anyway. We've made it through Act One. All right. Which means more dolphins, yeah, dolphins. Dolphins kick ass. This also this stage also has many underwater sections, but it won't really matter much because mostly you're riding on a dolphin. You can still drown, but you'll mostly make it in time anyway. And another time gate. Ultimate combo. Now those beam cannons, they they always change from straight forward to like an upward angle. Um, and pressing the B button will stop the cannon and fire like a water beam. You'll have to choose which direction to go, although I would mostly just go upward. And now, around here I die a lot. I don't know why, well okay, I do know why. I will explain. Unnecessary invincibility. Now here I, I somehow press the R button, although I really didn't mean to. And I died. 
Now here when your dolphin hits a wall you you will um fall off and well in this case die. Now here you don't want to run in those into those spikes. Oh, but this stage should be over soon. This is the last real stage. Yeah, after that only boss fights and item hunting. So this is the last real stage. And that was it. Get black material. Ah, oh yes, Scallywax, allow me to be showing you a little something special on my... And what's that? Be careful, Sonic, this could be a trap. Huh, Mateus, too. Aye, aye, sir. It's time, Mateus. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, ultimate eel, come forth to this world. Rule the seven seas. Justice is not welcome, kindness is weakness. Master of evil, show unto us those mighty whiskers. So it is I, the red pirate whisker. Boom, da ha ha ha. Ah, fantastic job, Mateus. Boss, boss, Sonic and the others, look. Well, what do you think? Our sheer awesomeness has you speechless, I see. Wah ha ha ha. Sonic, I uh, think he wants us to say something. Uh, well, cease the shenanigans. Give the spectre scepter back now. How dare you? You seek to mock me, splendid jig as a uh, shen. Uh, Man, what a shenanigans. Antics, Tom Fuller, in other words, they think you're a joke. A joke? To Davy Jones, locker with the lot of them. And the was there, Johnny, when you decide to drop on by my tail. I got here as quickly as I could. At my speeds, it's not easy to change direction. Ah, yes, well, Johnny, you're working with these guys? Ah, Sonic, I didn't expect to see you here. What a fantastic opportunity. This is opportunity for all. Come, let us, uh, let us have our final fight. Ah, Johnny, don't be scared. Okay, boss, why am I scrolling so fast? I know I'm serious. Today I shall teach you all the true meaning of fear and pain. Fear and pain? Yes, and that is, is Johnny. What does it mean? It means that you'll face them yourself. Ah, yes, of course. You hear that? I'll blow you to bits, you meddling pest. Oh, 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 so a little packing action is it. Is it you guys are toast? Huh, toast he says. Well if they think we'll go down that easy, let's go. And this is Whisker and Johnny. Yes, you'll fight against both of them at the same time. Um Whisker and most Whisker has like this yeah ground stomp attack which will create a huge shockwave that will hurt you. He can also spit out flames and sometimes he'll fire his arms, his hands at you, that makes sense. Johnny will mostly just um, rocket dash into you, but he's really easy to hit. Look how much health I've already got down. Mostly you'll defeat um, Johnny first. And whiskers, whisker afterwards. I think whisker has a little bit more health. There's also a mission that wants you to only defeat Johnny. Like you have to defeat Johnny first, and and so I think well, that's what I've been doing all the time. How else would you do it? Um, at the beginning, this this battle is pretty easy, but it can be kind of annoying when those Star plates show up. They also have a tag team attack where Johnny, uh, where Whisker just throws Johnny at you. But it's dodgeable. But watch out for metal blades. Man, the screen transition can be very annoying. Not too hard of a battle, just annoying sometimes. Especially when you have to get through, through some rings because you don't have any left. And there are metal blades. Uh, soft blades, anyway. 
and we've already taken care of Johnny now on Whiskers left. And he won't come down for some reason. God damn it, just come here already. I want to fight you. Well, I'm fighting you, but I want to fight you easier. Easily. English karma is not good. I, I don't know. God damn it, just come up here already. Why do For some reason, the metal blades don't hurt them. Yeah, right now this this battle is pretty tedious. Sometimes it can be very annoying jumping up to the pleasure because it'll just fall through the floor. For some reason it's pretty stupid. And uh, mostly also do a shout out if they attack. I still will say something like the Jones or Arastia or uh, Johnny will say something like check this out or I don't think so. So it pretty much tells you when when to attack when they attack. Well, it can be kind of difficult to keep an eye on them both at the same time. But when I hit the risk of stun... Oh no, my feet, that's my... Stigger's weak spot. 